Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to add JAR files to uh, Java projects created with NetBeans and the different building tools. So NetBeans allows you to create a Java project with one among three different building tools, which are Maven, Gradle, and Aint. So in this video, I have already prepared three projects created with the different building tools, which are Aint, Gradle, and Maven, and these different projects contain the same source code and require uh, these two jar files. So I will show you how to add these two jar files to these three different projects. So let's start with the int project. So here in the source code, as you can see, I have some errors because I need to include these two jar files. So let's do this. I will go to libraries, then add jar, then I will add the first jar file. Then I will add the second jar file. Now, as you can see, the errors disappeared. Let's run this file. And this is the output, which means that I am able to execute this class. Now, let's move to the second project, which is created with Gradle. So in this project, I have this class, and it contains some errors because I need to include these two jar files. So Gradle allows you either to download the jar file from the central repository or to install it locally from a local jar file. So here I will show you how to do with these two methods. So the first jar, I will ask Gradle to download it. But for the second jar, I will ask Gradle to install it from a local jar file. So to ask Gradle to download a jar file, it is necessary to provide some information. So this information is available on the central repository. So I will make a copy of the artifact ID of this jar file. And the artifact ID is the file name without the version. So this is the artifact ID. I will copy this. Then I will go to the central repository. So to find the central repository, I have to type maven repository. Then here I can either go to the first link or to the second link. I prefer the second link. So let's open it. And here I will just provide the artifact ID, which is, as I said, the file name without the version. So let's select this suggestion, and I have several versions. I will select the latest version. And here in this page, I will just copy this line, and I will add it into the Gradle config configuration file. So let's go back to NetBeans, and let's open the configuration file of Gradle. And here in the dependencies section, I will just add the line that I copied from the central repository. So this allows Gradle to download the first jar file. For the second jar file, as I said, I will install it from a local file that I have on my computer. That's why I will uh, provide another, another line, which is the following. And this line asks Gradle to include all the jar files available on the lib folder. And the lib folder should be available on the uh, Gradle project folder. So let's go to the Gradle project folder and let's create the lib folder. So this is the Gradle project folder. I will just create a new folder called lib. And inside this lib, I will make a copy of the jar file that I have on my computer. Uh, which is this one. So I will make a copy of this. And I paste this here. Now I will make a copy of the file name. Then let's go back to NetBeans. And here, instead of including all the jar files, I will just provide the file name of the jar that I want, want to include. So let's save this. Now let's go back to the main Gradle class. And as you can see, the errors disappeared because the first jar was downloaded 
and the second in jar was copied from a local file that I have on my computer. So let's execute this class. And as you can see, I am able to execute this class correctly. Now let's move to the third project, which is created with Maven. So it contains the same source code and this source code requires two jar files. Uh, so I have to include these two jar files. So Maven allows you to uh, either to download the jar file from the central repository or to install it locally from a local jar file that you have on your computer. So here uh, I will ask Maven to download the first jar file from the central repository and I will ask Maven to install the local uh, the second jar file from the local file that I have on my computer. So for Maven, the list of uh, jars that you want to include into the project should be uh, available into the POM file, which is this one. And as you can see here, there is no jar file included. So to include a new jar file, if I want to download it from the remote repository, I should find the information that I have to provide Maven with. So to provide to find this information, I have to copy the artifact ID of this jar file and the artifact ID is the file name without the version. So I will copy the artifact ID. Then I will go to the central repository. So to go to the central repository, I have to type Maven repository. Then I can select the first link or I can select this second link. Let's go to this second link. And uh, here I have to provide the artifact ID and the artifact ID, as I said, is the file name without the version. So let's select this suggestion. And here I have different versions. I will select the latest one. And here I have the information that I should provide Maven with. So I can either copy this text and paste it in the POM file, or I can ask NetBeans to make the modifications into this POM file. So I will use NetBeans to add the new dependency. That's why I will make a right click on dependencies, then add dependency. And here I have to provide some information. So the group ID is the name of the owner of this jar file. So I can find this information on the central repository. So this is the group ID. I will make a copy of this. Then the artifact ID, as I said, is the file name without the version. So this is the artifact ID. And for the version, this is the value that I have to copy. Now let's add this jar file. As you can see, the dependencies tag has been added and it contains one dependency. So with this, Maven is now able to download this jar file from the central repository. So for the second jar file, I will not ask Maven to download it. I will provide it from the local file that I have on my computer. So I will make right click on dependencies, then add dependency. And here for the group ID, I don't know the group ID because the file name does not contain the group ID. So I will, I will provide any value. Then for the artifact ID, as I said, it is the file name without the version. So this is the value that I have to provide for the second jar file. And for the version, it is also included in the file name. So this is it. Now let's click on add and a new dependency has been added into the POM file. So let's uh, take a look on the dependencies. As we can see, I have this dependency. So to install it from the local file that I have, I have to type manually install artifact. Then I have to provide the path of this jar file, which is available on my desktop. And this is it. So let's select it, then install locally. So it will be added to the local repository of uh, Maven. 
Now let's go to this class and as you can see the errors disappeared. So let's execute this file. And as you can see, I am able to execute this file correctly. So uh, finally, I will show you where Maven will save the different jar files. In fact, it saves the, the different jar files into a folder called the local repository. It is located on the uh, folder of the user of this computer into a folder called M2, then a repository. So this is the local repository of Maven. And if I go to any value, this is the jar that I added. This is so the one among the two jars. The other jar, I can find it into a folder that uh, is similar to the group ID. So it should be available into a folder called org slash apache slash PDF box. So let's find this folder. So it is org apache PDF box. And here I can find the jar file. So this is it, how we can include a JAR file into a Java project created with uh, NetBeans. I hope that this video was useful for you. Uh, please subscribe to the channel.